Welcome back to Midwest Access. Thanks for sticking with us. We have a treat for you now. We've moved to Wanamingo to Blondie's Butcher Shop. And I think we have Blondie right over here. This is Lindsay Loken, and she is the owner of Blondie's Butcher Shop. Yes, this welcome. place, boy, it screams at you. Right, the only pink meat locker this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. So you're the owner. Yeah. Why did you decide to open a butcher shop? It's a million dollar question. Um, I was exhausted in the emergency medicine field. Sure. I was a paramedic and called home like any kid does to their parent. And my dad says, uh, the meat locker's for sale across the street. So here I am, 11 years later. Wow, so your parents yeah. lived here? In Goodhue. Oh, they lived From the area, okay. yep. From the area. And yep. here we are now, what, 11 years later? Yeah, I don't know where the time has gone, but it's been great. It's been a ride. You know, we do our best to try to connect the producer and the consumer with all their questions in today's world. We try to take Google out of it and sure. teach real life. And so. butchers are hard to come by right now. And then on top of it, you're a woman butcher. Pretty unique. Yeah, yeah, I've always been weird. So <laughs> in, in my world and the people around here that know me aren't shocked by it. So I think it's just the rest of the world that's shocked. Um, and there's a lot of female butchers in the protein industry right now. Good. So um, yeah. it's been fun to connect with them. But yeah, we do a ton of education. We do barbecue, um, full retail, catering, food truck. I'm exhausted. You're extremely I'm busy. Exhausted. I will say when I walked in, when I saw the butcher shop from outside, I'm like, this looks like something I would see in Nashville. I got right. Nashville feel, feels right. here. I, I think we need to expand. We need to talk about it. We'll talk about it after this segment, okay? Yeah. But you have a lot of items people can come in and purchase here, is that correct? Yeah, we do a ton in age stakes. We're moving into e-commerce. We just got a website up, blondiesbutchershop.com. Okay. You can find all of our seasonings that our stuff is seasoned with here, our sauces. Um, you can order meat from us and have it shipped. We do a ton of aging. Um, we are a full harvest plant, so we actually bring the animals in here, sure. harvest them, and we cut here as well. So. so how does that work? Are you contracted with farmers, or how do you get the beef or the pork in? Yeah, that's a great question. So doing this after 11 years, you know, I've gotten to know my community sure. of farmers and producers, and I definitely have my favorite ones that know what they're doing, and I highlight the heck out of them. So did you ever think that you would be an expertise in cutting meat? <laughs> no, never. No, I was always into medicine and horses and sure. yeah. But you have an egg background. Total egg background, yep, yeah. animal science. So I came from that, learned everything else by trade. You know, there weren't any schools 11 years ago. Schools are starting to pop up now and yeah. you know, meat science I never knew it was something that existed, but I annoy the universities every chance I get with their meat departments, you yeah. know, to learn. So. We all eat, and a majority of us do eat meat. So let's head in this way. We have a freezer here. We have another freezer here. And this is where we keep this the carcasses. The cooler. Yep. Okay. Yep. We want to open that and sure. peek in because it's actually quite a large area here. Well, and I think it's something that a lot of people don't get to see. You know, yeah. it, there's not a lot of places you can walk in and see a hanging beef. This is one whole beef here. This is a front, this is a front shoulder. You know, this is where our brisket comes from, arm roast, chuck roast, and then our prime rib comes from right here. Yeah. So it's eclectic in the fact that we're 1934 building, so you walk in and you just, it's like the old days, yeah. you know? Very cool, all yeah, right. Sorry vegetarians, I didn't warn you, but it's reality. <laughs> all right, right over here, we have some pork loins. Yeah, so these are smoked pork loins that we do in-house in our pits. Um, just getting ready to go out and retail. Fridays and Saturdays are, are hot and crazy here, so. Where's your pit? Out back? It was down on the floor oh. when we were down there. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, so there right in there. room you didn't see. Oh, there's hidden rooms there's here. Hidden room. That's okay, I'm, I'm okay to not see all the areas here. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do right here? For folks that maybe, um, can they purchase this and cut it themselves? Absolutely. How do they do that? What's the best cut? Um, Pork loins, these are my favorite, the smoked pork chops. I do like a pork tenderloin. Beef tenderloin is also my favorite. Um, in today's world, everybody's grilling now. Barbecue is a hot topic. Tri-tips, briskets, you know, sure. iron, flat irons, um, skirt steaks, flank steaks, you name it. Ooh, you're an expert. What do you do right here? Is this, is this, you have a fancy knife. Can you show us how you do this? I'm fancy, yeah. You are fancy. So we usually do Where do I stand so I'm not in your way? Right here, okay? Wherever works for you. Okay. So this is pork chop. This is the front. 
This would be like a T-bone pork chop and this would be a porterhouse pork chop. The only okay. difference is the tenderloin comes in here. So just like a beef cut, pork is the same way. You do just pork and beef here? Primarily, okay. primarily. I can't bring my deer to you? you we do venison in the spring. I don't, I don't take whole carcass deer, just oh, trim. Okay. Okay. Um, goats every once in a while we wow. do. You know, um, Minnesota's become a lot more of an ethnic culture. So goats and sheep have become sure. very, very popular in the protein world. So yeah, Okay. every once in a while. Should we cut one? Yeah, we should. Right. Ready to get noisy? Yeah. So we're just gonna take the tip of the loin off and just break it down. This is a little bit of meat dust you're gonna see. How do you determine how thick? You know, I go off of what my customers ask me for. Okay. So three quarter inch to an inch. You know, Minnesotans, they like their steaks thick. <laughs> they like their meat and potatoes, right? So yeah. We'll just Perfect. break them down. You can remove a tail if you want, make them pretty. Okay. Um, once you learn the skill of butchery, then you create the art after that. Sure. So. All right, anything more that our folks at home should know? No, I mean, make sure to follow along on social media, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, we're always doing live demos, how you can take um, cuts at home and turn them into your own creation. You know, we talk you through that, maybe talk you through how to buy a quarter of beef to stock yeah. your freezer or half a pig. Yeah. Uh, Blondiesbutchershop.com, check out our e-commerce and follow along. How is the website going? It's interesting that it took that long to start a website. Why now? I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> You had to master it's, everything else it's first. It's hard. It's hard when you have like, I always tell people when they walk in here and you look at the place, I'm like, it looks like the inside of my head. <laughs> you know, I mean, theoretically. Sure. So to find those designers that could be compatible with yeah. the image I wanted to produce. Okay. And we've done that. We've That's done that good. now. So we've got a lot of fun material coming up in videos and yeah. All right. Um, picky, picky is good. And now it's not a requirement to be blonde to work here, is it? No, it is oh, not. It checking. is not, but just I checking. would say almost all of us are, which is kind of funny. <laughs> that is yeah. funny. And my guys want pink shirts because black is too hot. Oh, well, there you go. Right? Pink, pink fits in here. Blondie's fun. Butcher Shop, thank you so much. It's thank been great chatting with you, Lindsay. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for coming. More details on our website. We have her new website linked right there. Just click Midwest Access at KTTC.com. It's time for a break now. We'll yeah. be right back.